Hey golfers, Tony with Reactionary Golf. We're on myth number one on what I believe is one of the top five golf instruction myths out there. And it's how we use the ground or ground reaction force to supply more club head speed to the, the golf swing. So let's kind of go get into a little bit of science and understand where this uh, ground reaction force stems from and then take a look at how I would use it in our research here uh, and how it's being kind of, I'm not going to use the word misapplied, it's just I think it's just not um, understood quite well. And it's confusing sometimes because the, of the verbiage that some of the definitions are. So ground reaction force stems from, and it's an application from Newton's third law for every action there's an equal opposite reaction. Now the thing in Newton's law, he originated this off free moving particles. There's no friction involved. Well, when you apply that now to the golf swing and to us, the human body, we have friction. So some of this kind of, it applies, but it's really how you apply it. And that's what I want to get into on um, how you really don't have to worry about it. Now, let's talk about my vertical ground force reaction right now. So if I were to step on a scale and my, from Christmas, everyone's cooking too much, 255 pounds. I'm glad I'm 6'6". Six, six. Um, I hide it well. But that's my vertical ground reaction force right now. Um, if I sit on a force plate, sit on a scale, okay, that, that the gravity is pulling me down. I have a certain mass. We multiply it by negative 9.81, and um, that gives us our ground reaction force. So that force plate, then get, based on those piezoelectric, some of them are, um, resistors to kind of those strain gauges, then gives us that, that reverse Force and it, it points vertically. That would be the the z axis. So we got there our x, y, and z axis here. So that vertical force, and you'll see some people do it the right hand rule like this. Um, but that vertical force, that z axis, that is basically gravity pulling me down. So now I can hit balls, and I'll do this feet together. And there's going to be an additional force that's going to show up on the force plate. And that's partly due to me swinging the golf club. My arms are moving. I'm putting acceleration of this mass, acceleration of my arms all towards the ball, which is located on the ground. So we would see this increase in the ground reaction force. Now, if I take ground reaction force away, but we're not talking about vertical ground reaction force way because guess what? I still weigh 255 pounds. But now I've taken away parallel ground reaction force, which is also known in this case, it's friction. So if I take friction away, now a lot of things change. So my vertical Ground reaction force is still the same, but if I were to try to hit a ball with this, and, and don't do this, I'm not even going to be able to do it, because we're going to see what happens. So I've reduced the amount of friction parallel to the ground, okay, so my feet. So now when I start swinging this club back, I actually felt my lower body rotate this way. Now this was not intentional. It's a counterbalance mechanism that the body uses and in order to maintain balance. So it's like walking. When I walk, my whole body doesn't turn the same direction. I counter it. Hips turn one direction. Upper body turns the other direction. So now I'm stable and I'm balanced. So when I take away this horizontal friction, everything gets thrown off. But my vertical ground reaction force has not changed. My mass has not changed. Doctor says I got to lose 20 pounds, which I agree with, but my haven't changed. And so now I can't move properly because I've taken away friction. So 
that's more of the X and Y axis types of friction that we're talking about. It's not a vertical ground reaction force. So how does that apply in the golf swing? How does that apply to make us a better golfer? Well, that's our golf shoes. That's us on the ground. So this idea of worrying about trying to create more ground reaction force, use the ground to move, it's really the friction that we're talking about. And actually, when we look at the force plate data, and I'll do that in other videos, we're going to see that the best thing that the force plate does is evaluates how much force we're actually putting down into the ground. It tells us what we are doing, okay? Muscles only move off of intentional movement, so an intentional motor program. I can move my foot, move my leg, but I don't, I'm not swinging a golf club. So we have to have a constructed motor program in order to create this golf swing. So does the ground give us any type of special additional force? No, it's a friction. If I was standing on sand, we'd slip a little bit. That's really, so it's more of a horizontal aspect of friction that we need in order to play good golf. But the better force I can put down in the ball, the better I'm going to hit it. So if I got up here and I'm taking my body and I'm really rotating my body and that force is going this direction, how is that being applied down in the golf ball? It's not. So again, better that sequence. This is a great simple drill. I remember watching Hale Irwin do this back in the day of hitting balls feet together. So great way to work on hitting draws. Grab that arm swing, get it working, get that right arm in control for our right-handed golfers, lefties. Let's get that left arm in control. Don't worry about ground reaction force. We have gravity. As long as we got friction, we are good. For more information, come and see us at reactionarygolf.com and see us at Inside the Golf Lab, where I'll get a little bit more into the science aspect of this. And looking forward to a great 2018. Talk to you guys soon. Thanks. Hey, golfers. Tony with Reactionary Golf. Just to give you an idea of what it happens when you become a member at Inside the Golf Lab. First of all, you get access to all my private videos that I do inside the lab here and out on the golf course. Second, you get golf research from around the world. That gives you an insight and then how it applies to kind of clear up some of the misconceptions in the golf swing. And the best thing, obviously, is you get golf instruction by me. I do online video analysis through Huddle, and then this way it's a free app and we can get you to improve your golf game regardless where you are, what time zone and everything else. So really for about $10 a month, actually less than $10 a month, we can improve your golf game to make 2018 the best uh, it's ever been. Also, big news, March, Florida, Be Better Golf School, powered by Reactionary Golf. Look out for those announcements coming soon. See ya.